Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing one. I am so, so nervous for this. You have no idea. I am getting my lips done. If you haven't already noticed by Lisa or the title and the thumbnail. Um, don't mind that by the way, that's just my wee filming setup. But we're going to get my lips done. I'm going to Lips and Lift. Samantha Dreghorn is her name. She's based in Glasgow and that's who I'm going to. I've did my research for months and months and months and she's just always been the one person that I've kind of just went back to and loved her work. So I'm fully confident I have my trust in her and that is the main thing because I feel like if you don't trust who you're going to or you're a bit unsure, like there's just no point doing it. Like you re really need to do your research, make sure, make sure, can I talk? Make sure you do your research, make sure you know who it is you're going to friends and stuff have went to them as well make sure you do your research i just thought i would maybe show you my outfit as well because i'm going to be going a wee bit of shopping after hopefully my lips are not like extremely swollen when i'm walking around ikea but i just thought i would show you my outfit because i'm really digging it the day so i've got my teddy fur coat on this one is from tesco tesco i got it for 26 pounds i don't know if they've got it anymore because i got it around about november time but it's just such a big fluffy jacket and it's really cozy it keeps me warm all the time got two nice wee big pockets here as well i've got a jumper from h&m on this was only like 20 pounds or something really snuggly it's a wee bit itchy but i've got another wee jumper under it just for insulation just to keep the the heat in and just to stop the itch because i do have dry skin and it irritates it even more i've got my new jeans on that i got from top shop tell a lie it's h&m what am i talking about i've got my trusty boots on go to these every single year these are from zara love them so much over the knee so that is what i'm wearing the day i'll probably be sweating eh, as soon as i get into see samantha so i'll need to like strip off all my clothes because i've got the nervous like sweats and that like proper nervous sweats to the point where get a nervous wee belly <laughs> so i just thought maybe i'll show you like right so this is what my lips look like they now they're not a bad wee shape don't necessarily need to get them done i just want to get them done to see how they look and just for like i've heard that you can get what time is it hold on right it's quarter past right i've got an hour to get there that's fine just make sure i've got enough time so i have also read online that you can get lip injections to cure like bad like chapped lips i always get chapped lips so that's kind of the other main reason and i just want to have like a nice wee plump to my lip just so that when i'm wearing lipstick you can actually see it like and a pure like heavy pout in my pictures so i just don't want to be able to do that because when i do that i get these like lines i mean i've got the lines anyway maybe i should see samantha about that as well <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. Broxy, what are you doing? Aww, are you stuck? Right, we're going downstairs. You wee grubby man. He's getting a bath soon. Are you getting a bath, wee old man? Anyway, so I've did my rambling and then I'm going to go into Ikea. But along the way, I will put like pictures and stuff of before and afters and we'll talk about the whole process after I actually get it done. I'm just going to show you guys the going in there, just the full, the full way injecting but anyway let's go so that i'm not running late because we know i'm the queen at running late here parking was a bit of a nightmare um it's quarter past my appointment's in five minutes so i better go in case i need to fill out any forms which i'm sure i will but yeah i'm really nervous now i can't even believe i'm doing this i can't believe it oh my god and what is that up there oh it's the light i was like what what's happening
one. Is that us? Mm -hmm. That was actually really good. It's a lot less painful than what I thought. Good. Yeah, I have to put more on your right. Right, I just got out. I'm still a little bit numb, so it feels weird to move my lips, but this side is starting to swell up a little bit more. She was saying as soon as she put it in, I am obsessed. Why didn't I do this any sooner? Like, I don't know why. They, they look so much more like my lips should look. Like before, one side was ever so slightly like um, thinner than the other. So she just basically evened them out. A wee plumpage and it's exactly what I wanted. I can't even believe this. Oh my God, I can't believe this. I just got lip fillers. <laughs> I just got lip fillers. But I'm obsessed and I'm definitely gonna go back to her because as soon as I went in, right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go home. Actually, I need to go to Ikea, so hopefully my lips aren't too swollen. Oh my God. Obsessed. Right, so that is me back in the house. It's now like seven or eight, maybe nine o'clock. Still a bit, can I, oh, I've got ink on my hands. I was trying to fix the printer, <laughs> um, but I've been home still a little bit weird for me to talk just because it's obviously I can feel that my lips are different I feel like I've been in the dentist or something and I've had a jag and it's still weird for me to talk but this is what my lips look like this side is ever so slightly more swollen she did say that as soon as like she was done like this side instantly kind of like swelled up so this side will go down a little bit and meet up with this one i don't know why i didn't do this sooner like as you seen in the car earlier i was just so like happy with the results instantly as soon as she showed me in the mirror i was like oh yeah like amazing well done thank you <laughs> So yeah, I went for one mil and she basically just kind of like inserted a few times along the border underneath on top a few times and then like another one. I'm slightly, I don't know if that's because that looks like it's bruised, right? But I think it's actually the blue ink that's on my hand and I've been touching my face. Yeah, I think it's just the ink because I'm definitely not, that wasn't in there literally two seconds ago. So she numbed me up. Uh, I sat with the cream on for about like five minutes or so and literally she was so quick. Actually, as you seen from the footage there that I just showed you, she was two and a half minutes doing the injections, which was great because at the same time, you don't want to be sitting with getting pure needles stuck in your lips. I was so nervous as well, like you guys have no idea, like I've not done anything like this before so obviously I'm not going to take it lightly, like it's a big deal, I'm altering my face ever so slightly. Obviously <laughs> Shane wasn't too happy about it, he's like you don't need to do that, you're perfect just the way you are. My mum's like cancel that right now, like if you're Scottish mum she's like no you're no, cancel that half and all that and I'm like mum please be quiet, I'm 26 <laughs> but no, I'm super happy with the results. So the full consultation literally was about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. But the full time that you're in there, you're not getting injected. Do you know what I mean? She took about five, 10 minutes to just chat to me, see what I wanted. She took about five minutes to get like the stuff ready and get prepared, put the numbing cream on me. And then, like I said, two and a half minutes and she was done. The pain, which was what I was pure worried about, um, that was probably the main thing that I was actually really nervous about and the fact that I'm just like altering my face, like that's a big deal. I was really apprehensive just in case like I did come out and I really didn't like them. You know, you hear horror stories all the time about girls going in and then you see their lips and they're so like fishy and sausagey and like that's just not my vibe, do you know what I'm saying? So I explained that all to Samantha and I've totally went to the right place because everything that I was saying, like she was agreeing with me. And obviously I've researched for months and months and months. Definitely do your research before you go and see anyone. But if you guys are looking to get anything done, lip fillers or Botox or cheek, jaw or nose like enhancements to do with like fillers and all that jazz, I'm not sure of the names of it, but um, Samantha does that in I think it's called Plan Street, Plan Street, which is another thing that I'm actually really happy about because I feel really comfortable as soon as I walked in. I was super, super nervous, like proper had the sweats and that on. But because Samantha is a dentist, she works in an 
a dentist um, and she also does those treatments I instantly felt kind of like really at ease just because I felt like I was in good hands and I felt that even before I booked in with Samantha who is Lips and Lifts by the way I'll put her Instagram on screen somewhere so that you guys can go check it out but honestly I've been researching for months and months and months just to make sure I chose the correct person Samantha was always the one person that I went back to and I've spoke to her multiple times online and then yeah today was the day that I got it done um, she was so lovely and yeah just totally felt at ease like it's so crazy I literally had nightmares up until today just of like me going in and lying down and all of a sudden like the person's just like jabbing me with the needle and that freaked me out like I'm not even kidding you I woke up heavy sweating like <laughs> But yeah, the pain was really minimal. She numbed me up, obviously, left it on for five minutes. And when she was putting the needle in, it's literally just like a wee, like, bee sting. Much similar to just getting, like, a wee jag in your arm or something. It's just that wee pinch when it goes in and then it goes away. And obviously, she did that multiple times on my lips. So it was a wee sting every time. But the Juvederm that she used, I'm not actually too... I think it was Juvederm. Juvederm Ultra she used that has anaesthetic in it as well so once like every time she keeps going in and putting the product into your lips it um, numbs it even more which is good. What else do I want to say? I think that's just about it to be honest. I'm going to do a wee um, kind of snapshot of the morning after which will be like roughly nearly 24 hours just to see how much more swollen they are they definitely are getting more swollen by the hour as i can see but um that will go down within a day or two bruising she says i probably wouldn't bruise again i'm not too sure what that is i'm definitely positive that it's the blue ink and i've just been touching my face and that's how it's got on there but super happy with the way they look so far and if you guys are looking to get your lips done and are unsure where to go because you know you don't want to just go to any Tom, Dick and Harry I was I got off track with the point that I was trying to say about Samantha being in the dental office and doing that like you hear horror stories of girls just like learning lip fillers and then just like injecting and you know what I mean? They've not got the experience. They're just doing it, obviously, because that's the end thing. Or I don't know. Do you know what I mean? They've not had the the great training that other people have had. So that's why you need to do your research and make sure you look at their pictures and ask them questions. And don't be shy to ask them questions either. Like because this is a big deal. Do you know what I mean? You just don't want to go to somebody and then mess up your face because this is a work of art. <laughs> Get on. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave it here. I've actually ate tonight as well. I thought it would be a bit difficult. It was actually alright. I had like two burgers the night with one and a half. And yeah, ate it fine. Talking was a wee bit funny. As soon as I got out, like it was a wee bit kind of like stingy. Like, I don't know, like it wasn't stingy. It was just like I could feel, I felt like, I don't know, I'm trying to explain. Like, you know how when you have a wee bruise in your arm or something and it, you, like, kind of knock it? It just felt like that. It was a wee slight, kind of, like, thing that I knew, obviously, something had happened to my lips. But super, super happy. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram because you'll be getting loads of snaps of my lips on there so if you're interested please go and have a wee look also follow lips and lift really really i just i honestly can thank samantha enough just for like giving me the reassurance and the results that i actually wanted everything that I was saying to her like i wanted to keep my cupid's bow because i really like my cupid's bow defining the um like obviously the kind of perimeter of my lips and then just adding a wee bit of kind of volume there not like i like how my lips come to like their natural point as well so that again they do look more natural because i don't want to go for these big massive like fish lips and sausage lips no that's just not my vibe not my vibe i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and i will see you guys in the next one thanks so much for watching bye